got a squall rolling in. This is over 50 knots of wind. This is by far the worst weather I've seen since uh, we've been here. And they lost their dinghy last night. Whew, exciting first night for the Boy Scouts. They call this troop the Rainmakers from New Jersey. That's what I mean. I'm not calling it. I got some news. You can do it. No way. And JJ, go for the back. We got the Spanker crew back winning the port over here. We survived that exciting night. Uh, I feel like the winds were 50, 60 knots there. It got pretty hairy. The thing that was a little dicey was we had these these rocks and land. You know, we were blowing parallel with this blue building there. So the direction that the wind was pushing us was right into these rocks. It's not very far behind us. There's a boat that's anchored just behind us there. Thomas went and checked on them and they lost their dinghy last night. They still have the line, so the line didn't come untied or anything. What happened was it ripped the front of their inflatable dinghy right off. So the line is still tied with the front part of their their dinghy, but the rest of the dinghy's gone. Thomas went and helped try to look and couldn't find it, so we're guessing it went in between the gap there and the land, and, it, and it's uh, hard to say. I don't think they slipped, and our anchor drug about 80 feet, and... Um, uh, we dove on it and noticed that it just dug in, dug into the mud and just dug a trench. You could see it was kind of going side to side as it drug until it finally sunk in. So whew, exciting first night for the Boy Scouts. They call this troop the Rainmakers from New Jersey. I guess every trip they go on, there's there's always exciting weather. Uh, so this is only the first night we're gonna see how crazy things get with the Rainmakers. So Linda just informed me that the boat that lost their dinghy, that's actually a Boy Scout group. So they have yeah. Boy Scouts on board and now no dinghy, but they said they have a few options. Um, and if those don't work out, Thomas has another dinghy that we secured in Man of War. And Thomas said he'd let them use his dinghy because we got we got the uh, dinkling here, this monster and this, the dinghy that we sailed up with, we left it. So, so they have options, but man, imagine that. You got all the scouts on, on board and boom your dinghy flies off. This main thing is it's how much longer the storm is. That's what I mean, how much longer is the storm? Stay right here. Stay right here. Everyone 
It's another beautiful morning I, I and think, another day of rain. This is uh, I, I think three for three, right? Is this the third day? Friday, it rained Friday, Saturday, Sunday, this is Monday. Yeah. That hurricane hits next week with the other crew. <laughs> there's another crew coming and there's a hurricane forming uh, for next week. There's another Rainmaker crew coming next week because they were such a big troop we couldn't get them all on on one, uh, one trip. So they're already predicting that next week's going to be worse than this week and we're going to have to ride out a hurricane. To the right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go over to the right. And that's a clove hitch. Always right hand under left. Okay? So I go right, right under left, go over your post. Now I've got full control. Instead of holding this line, which has got the full load on it, now I've got the, the, the friction of that post. I can just hold this line. I still am controlling the load with my left hand. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my right hand, under left, and I'm going to do it again, and that is your clove hitch. You always grab a wire this way. You would never try to grab a wire this way. Again, why don't you grab a wire this way? God would have put calluses on that side of your hand if he wanted you to grab it that way. You put it on that side, so grab it this way. Always, to the right, always. You got it. So you're going to do that same thing with your you're going to grab it, and grab it, that's your clove hitch. And then what I'd like you to do is hold on to that end of the line, because it's two parts to the knot. The first part of the knot is, what do I do? I take my right and I go under my left, correct? So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to take, I'm holding the load with my left hand, that's it, there it is. I'm going to take my right and I'm going to go under my left. Now, if you look at that, I'm right-handed. We did it this way. See how the hole that I made is on this side? Mm -hmm. It's to the right. This right here is a vertical line. So what I'm going to do is I want to grab that. But I grab it from my right. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to take it there. That's a bone. You know you tied a bowling correctly if the tail is in the middle of the hole that you're making. And that's a bowling. I said a dragon bowl. So what you do that is you. Dragon. Yeah, it's a visual. Makes it easy, man. Yeah. That's it. Easier. Yeah. But you can do it with one hand. You don't have to go reaching for the other hand. The crew is getting much better. We took the tarp down, all the clothes off real quick. There's another another system is rolling in. This one was not even forecasted. We looked at the radar. All that just formed out of nowhere. <laughs> the storms brought plenty of rain with them and high winds. But as they passed, they also took the winds with them. So with no winds, we motored to the best reef to snorkel in all the Abaco Sea, Sandy Key Reef. On our way to Sandy Key Reef, we happened to see a sailboat that we had previously seen anchored close to land there, washed up on the beach. It was sad to see, and that happened during the night, the same storm that we rode out. All right, I'm here with Denver. What's up, folks? He said he's got a really good Godfather impression, but he's got to get into character first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count to six. Count to six. All right, you guys let Denver know on a scale of one to ten how good his Godfather impersonation is. One, two, three, four. I'm going to give him a deal that they cannot refuse. That's all I got. There we go. Oh, yeah! To begin the Sandy Key Reef dive, all the Boy Scouts jump off Saganka while she's moving up current and Captain Thomas then takes Saganka to 
the very end of the reef and anchors and we all drift down this beautiful reef while Captain Thomas waits at the end. This sea turtle's name is Scratch and he is Admiral Linda's puppy dog of the sea. She's been seeing Scratch many years, all the years that she comes here. This turtle loves to swim with humans. He loves human interaction. He just wants to be part of the group. What do you think of all this weather there, Captain? I think this troop has outdid itself in its, um, what do they call it, uh, reputation. They call it H2O, Troop H2O, and they've definitely fulfilled their, their troop number. Without a doubt. <laughs> troop H2O are the rainmakers. This is day three of a storm. We've had a storm one night. We slipped anchor. The next day it blasted. We had to get a tarp down. We just barely got the tarp down this time. I lost my hat, my Saganka hat, but Thomas and I went out in the dinghy. I didn't have time to get the camera. But look, we got a couple of them just, just loving it out there. They've been out there for about an hour. Woo! Woo! You guys just like standing in the rain or? Taking a shower, okay. Yeah, freeze. It's about to blow a little. Yeah. <laughs> the wind actually shifted 180 degrees, so and we had a lot of scope out. We actually we came we came around this way and we actually were on the ground a little bit. Thomas had to motor motor off and then we flipped back around the wind just switched but now we're kind of blowing we've probably got about 10 feet behind us and then it gets real shallow but it's sandy and we got another band coming in with lightning and god this is insane three days in a row we had a beautiful dive though nice little drift dive this morning before all this and we're catching rainwater so that's always that's always nice Two have been out there for about an hour. Yeah, I think you're back on the ground now. So, Papa, we came up with a new hammock spot. <laughs> you came up with a what? A new hammock spot. Yeah. What, where's that? So, back there on this chain. <laughs> okay. To the front of that chain. So you're, uh, so you're hanging under the chain? Right there, yeah. Noah has a pretty good idea about a new hammock spot. What do you think? He's gonna go, he's thinking about going from the end of the bow sprit to where one of the whisker shrouds attached to the ship. So that's a pretty long run. That'll put him about three and a half feet or four feet from the water at most, at the highest. I mean, that would be the tallest. So with that, with, if and he, that's if, if there's no falls, waves. He, he swims. If he falls, he swims. We might have to leave the ladder down. No, the you'll have to climb him. up the bobstay. Climb up the bobstay, all right. right. I got some news. Uh, <laughs> Oh, no. you, you can do it. No way. Yeah, we, we're gonna go for it, but he thinks we need to do It's a little bit different. Yeah, like from well, I was that also, whisker. Yeah, I was also thinking if we anchor uh -huh. Then we could go from the gray To well the chain to that white pole white upright or yeah. Like go on this side since the anchor is gonna be down Right, that's what he was saying on this side would be the best yeah. And uh, yeah, basically from that white where that pole comes yeah. in. Yeah. And uh, also over here. He I'm said, he I'm said, if, he said if you fall in, you got to climb up the bobstay. There's no, there's no ladder going in there. All right. No, it started off Why with. Why are the, you it, so lucky? It started off with the. I'm doing it too, Hear right? me out. It, it, it pays to push boundaries, you know. It pays to. It's true. 
if we can Cap, fit Captain, two hammocks on Captain loves it. it. Yeah, good idea. All right, so we'll do it. I'm excited to see if it works. And that'll, that'll be it first. Thank really? you, Papa. Yeah, so we can add two more hammocks to the total. Three, so that's two more? Well, that's eight plus two, so ten. That means we can set ten Seniority hammocks. Seniority rolls, boys. <laughs> point, point, man. Spots. point man. Point man is being a point man. Point man is taking his seniority. He's trying. I don't know. They're gonna fight it out. There's only gonna be two that can try. That's the spot right there. Just wet. You just have to be sopping wet. Are you? Imagine you wake up. Let's go. All right, we got him hanging off the bowsprit. We'll see how this goes. Last couple of times they've tried sleeping on hammocks. The rain and the lightning came rolling in. We had to do a crazy drill and get all the hammocks in barely in the nick of time. So I don't know what they're gonna do if that happens, but they're willing to take their chances. It's all over. It's all over? It's all over. Good morning. This is the final day of our very first scout group, Wednesday. This is the day where we sail and they're gonna be doing everything. They should be trained up. They all have their roles, positions. They've learned their knots. They've learned how the sails operate. So here is where we just get to let them sail. Captain Thomas gets to have fun, gets to sail backwards, gets to tack, go in, out of the wind, and just, just see what, what they got, see how much they've learned. And I'm just gonna be there if anyone needs any help, but I'm gonna be hands off as much as possible and letting them do everything. Here we go. And JJ, go further back. Spanker crew back winning the port over here. Let's go, Spanker crew! Woo! You're gonna do, you're gonna absorb, you're gonna keep taking it in until I tell you to stop. Right. You just hold that line. Keep the we're line gonna wait till they're done. There, pat it. There, flatten it out, and then it won't, it won't trip. Okay, gentlemen, on the starboard side, look in the rail there, and watch you. Go this way. All right, one of you sweat, one of you. Yep. Hey, JJ. JJ. Oh. Feed it. There you go. Boom. Boom. All right, the captain said the uh, crew earned a good photo, so they're all going up to the bow, about to take a nice group photo. Well under sail. I think that's everybody. Here comes the admiral with the, with the camera. Be easy with telling them to lean over. Be easy with telling them to lean over. I don't want them leaning over on the line. It's just enjoy. Kicking one of you when I go down. So I'm honored. They asked me to come in and be a part of their group photo. Whoa! Almost went down there. Woo! Nice job, Point Man. Thank you. How do you like being the Point Man? Point man's amazing, dude. It's I it's like it. my favorite job. I know. I'm, I'm pretty stoked that you got it. I think point man's definitely the best position on this boat. I'm not gonna lie. I agree. I really love being the point man. Let's go, baby! Where are you from? <laughs> What do they 
call you? <laughs> the Rainmakers! Yeah! <laughs> you coming back out on the bow spray here, Toby? Yeah. All right. I'm try to get out there. You gotta, do, you gotta get a high five in first. All right, switching. Tag. Let's go down the line. Go. Help. Woo. Hell yeah. Let's go, baby. We're getting everyone in this one. <laughs> Mr. Ed. Hey. High five. Five. We're doing fives. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! How's the crew doing, Captain? I think we're doing good. You? You're, you're the crew, so you tell me. <laughs> I'm asking, how am I doing? How are they doing? No, I really He's like, good. you tell me. You it's tell so, me. It's so nice to. Uh, but here's what I'm thinking about doing: is we'll we'll do let them take a couple of dad sun pictures. Then we'll get in the dinghy, you and me, and we'll go with the boat under sail. We'll go around the boat so they can see them, so they can line up on the hull, and they can see the sails up, and we'll go around and actually see the boat sailing from off the boat. Kind of like a drone picture, but the drone is the big dinghy. It's a big drone. Brilliant. What do you think? Brilliant. Brilliant. Wait. Let him have it. Go, 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 Mikey. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it, pull it. Make it up, make it up, make it up. Go, go around the horn. No, 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 no. Go around the horn. videos of Saganka sailing, leave an admiral in control of the ship. She's turning into the wind right now just to give us a little, little break so we can hop in. There's the mainsail luffing. Bye! Thomas has a lot of faith in his outboards. Notice we got on the dinghy, let them sail away before he even tried starting it. Of course she started right up, why wouldn't she? She's a finely tuned, okay. Woo, look at her go. the lifeline ladder crew getting the fenders over here's gonna be the fun part Thomas and I have to get off of the dinghy while underway and I'm filming Toby here you go well, you're rolling you're rolling
All right, nice job, guys. And that is how you board a ship under sail. That's how I would do it. That's how Thomas would do it. Coast Guard does it a different way. How does the Coast Guard do it? Captain says, they say, I want you to take all your sails down so that we can board your boat. So get your foot up on the side of the boat. I'm not taking the <laughs> sails down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, come on, you're the Coast Guard. You're supposed to board the boat with the sails up. Don't make the poor sailor take the sails down, especially on this boat. You know how long that would take? Not too long, actually. It's a pretty smooth operation here, but. That was awesome, guys. Good job. Uh, nice job, Malachi. Very good job. I'm gonna give it to somebody else. Very good job. All right, Captain is taking us in. Oh, it's flat calm on the other side. We are grazing the land here, just, just like Captain Thomas loves to do. Get as close as you possibly can to anything, rocks, coral. Just, just for the fun of it and the view. Captain's got us coming in real tight. Look at this. They don't, they don't think about it. I don't, I don't even like that. I think that's awesome. I don't know how it's about because it's hard. They don't even care about that. We have a scout boat right in front of us that we're going to sail and literally scrape the edge of their hull. We're going to sail real close. So they're ready for us. I told them Thomas likes to get close. So. Be ready. So he was just checking, hey, uh, yeah, he's, nobody in the water. you know, we're about to cross bows, right? And Linda's like, yeah, yeah, we got it. Let's see how close Captain is going to cut this one. No engine, not too close. Ready the cannons. Captain's got Noah going as tight into the wind as he can possibly go. And this is his first time ever at the helm, so that's, I had a little trouble doing that because you wanna ride as close as you can until the front sail starts to luff, and then you wanna fall off just a bit. So he's trying to pinch, and he's doing great so far. Strike the jib. Go ahead, you can start pulling it down. Came into Mermaid Reef under sail, dropped anchor. Got the mainsail dropped. And uh, this tarp is a really great tool for Captain Thomas to teach knots. So at this point, they're all setting this shade cover up on their own, and it's a great way to learn clothage. Got that one, Denver? I did. <laughs> See that? See that, folks? That is the greatest knot ever. And what do you call that knot? Uh, that's the clove hitch, right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But it is the glow I'm astronaut. Quick release. Quick release. Quick release. Let's see how they're doing over here. It's Malachi's glow pitch. He's so close, he's so close. I know. You got this. He did a little extra, but I think that'll still work. He did like a double flow pitch. That'll play though.
Each Boy Scout group helps transport food for the next Boy Scout group. That's Ms. Lovely dropping off the pizza. I think this is a, a tradition of Hansaganka for the Scouts. It's the final day. They order a bunch of pizza and they get it delivered. And Linda loves that because Linda doesn't have to cook. And the Scouts love it because everybody loves pizza. So it's like a win-win here. Okay, I think I already forgot to talk in the voice. The voice. That's the voice. We're in the Bahamas. We're in the Bahamas. We're in the Bahamas. <laughs> Gotta keep practicing the voice. That's it. You might as well enjoy eating it because you can't get to the next piece of pizza until everybody's had their two pieces and they're finished eating. Got it? So you don't well, have to go like You don't have to eat to get it. You don't have to eat first. it fast. Okay. And the trick is to after and you get And on second your... round, you just do one, wait, and chew. You gotta flake, taste it, and chew it. And when you get your piece of pizza out of the box, close the lid so it's warm for everybody else. Which were the meat lovers? I want pepperoni. What are you eating? Chicken. Chicken. Hello. It was on In the morning, before the scouts leave for the airport, they show Saganka some love. I'm bringing you guys in for this conversation because it's getting a little deep. Like you said, I'm going to need some boots. I'm getting into some mud. Um, they're asking me about like, Especially with them. relationship advice, how to get out of the friend zone. We're talking about girls. The roster. I'm starting to like, <laughs> about college. What you got to do is you just got to like jerk that lore like a woman. And then the lore goes away and if she likes it more, then she'll come back to it. And then she'll be like, hey, I kind of want that lore. And then she'll bite it. And then that's whenever you set the hook and reel it in. <laughs> what if there's a bigger and better lore out there? Then you just go for a smaller, maybe kind of more space. <laughs> you gotta know the limits of your war. <laughs> to quote, to quote uh, Clint Eastwood, a man's gotta know his limitations. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Good one. And, uh, has anyone else learned anything uh, from this conversation that they're they're gonna take home with them? You gotta be honest. Go to Honest. Golf Academy and party hard. Denver has. Yeah. Not to listen to Coachman's advice. If you get dumped, just move to the Bahamas. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it works. <laughs> That's the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. Guess what? That is. Oh, what do we got here? We're in the Bahamas. <laughs> we thank you. And if you have any advice, you know, in the comments, you should let it, you know let us know. Let everybody know. Turn on the notification bell. Turn on the notification bell. <laughs> subscribe. subscribe. These are the tales of Boab.